everybody. It's me, Ms. Sean from Gwinnett County Public Schools, Early Learning and School Readiness, and of course, Play to Learn. So for those of you who have been in our Play to Learn classes, these might look familiar to you. If you've not had the pleasure or the opportunity to come to our Play to Learn classes, we wanted to talk to you about feelings and emotions and how important it is for your child to be able to communicate how they feel. Um, also to be able to communicate um, what might help them feel better and to be able to manage their feelings appropriately. Is it okay to cry? Absolutely. Is it okay to stomp your feet and get upset? Absolutely. But you have to also be able to communicate why you're stomping your feet or why you're crying or why you're excited or why you're surprised or why you might be scared, right? Because when your child goes off to school, they need to be able to communicate it to their teacher as well and the other adults that are responsible for them during that time. You as a parent may intrinsically or just naturally know that something might cause your child to be fearful or to be upset, but your teacher may not be able to know that right off the bat. And remember, they sometimes will have up to 20 students or more in their classroom. So being able to be there for the, your child every moment of every part of the day is not something that can be guaranteed. So it's really important to empower your children to be able to communicate exactly how they feel to be able to express it appropriately, so not hitting, not running away, not laying down on the ground and having a tantrum, but just communicating effectively what's going on. And the way to do that is to model it, to point out when they're feeling happy or excited or surprised or sad or scared and tell them how you know that they're scared. I can tell because you're, you've got your hands in front of your eyes and you are peeking through them like this. So point out all of those motions. So we use these great um, pictures depicting children having certain emotions. And in the beginning, we sort of zoom in on just the face and we have the children guess, what do you think this baby is feeling? And then we show the next picture, which is this one of a zoom out and they get to see why this baby is so happy and excited. And it's because she's playing with her daddy, right? So here's another one. Oh, this baby is crying. Remember, all they see is this part of the face. This baby is sad, right? Why is this baby sad? Well, when we zoom out, we see that the baby's in his crib and maybe he doesn't wanna be in this crib. Maybe all he needs is a hug right now. So we talk through those things. We talk about how the brow is furrowed, how the mouth is open, how we see tears on the cheeks, right? So those are the kinds of things you can do at home. Here's another one. Oh, look at those gritted teeth, that brow turning down. This child is angry. And remember, all we see is this part. We don't get to see the scenario of what's happening. Now we see he might be fighting with his brother, right? Somebody's pushing, he's pushing back. This child, it looks like might even be crying. So this seems to be um, sort of, a sibling situation that needs to be talked through. Is it okay to be angry? Mm -hmm. Is it okay to grit your teeth? Yes. Is it okay to growl and even yell? Absolutely. Is this okay? No, no pushing, grabbing, hitting, right? That is not the appropriate way to express ourselves. What we need to say is, I'm angry because he took my toy and it's my turn, right? We need to be able to communicate that. And we can do that by talking it through with our parents. This little girl is very excited. She has a very happy emotion on her face. She's excited. You can tell because her tongue is out and you can see that she is getting to dance and jump around in a puddle and that makes her very happy. So she's doing a little, this kind of thing, very excited even talk about and point out the different emotions because it's not just happy. It's also excited. Oh, here's fear, right? He is scared of this dog and he is very fearful. 
So talk about what fear is, talk about how you can control yourself when you're in a, a moment of not feeling comfortable or safe. What can you do? Tell them who they can reach out to for help and support. You can always go to your teacher when you're feeling scared. You can always come to mommy or daddy when you're feeling scared, right? Or fearful. Oh, we have surprised. This looks like maybe she's having a party and a big surprise has come in. Oh, we can tell because our eyes are big and we're not sure what to think. Could be a good surprise, could be a bad surprise. We don't know, but it's a surprise, all right. Oh, this is a big one, jealous. Jealous can look like angry, but it's jealous. Jealous can look like mad, but it's jealous. And we can tell that she might be jealous that mommy has a new baby that she's paying attention to, right? So we need to teach our children the difference between angry and jealous. Now there might be some anger in jealous, but the underlying thing here is jealousy. Her feelings are actually hurt. She just needs some time with mommy there, right? Frustrated. Frustrated has mad, has anger, but it's also a lack of self-confidence too. It's not feeling like you can do something. So it's more than just anger. It's being frustrated, right? Feeling like there's nothing that you can do. So these are just a handful of emotions that we wanted to show you. The most important thing that we wanted to just convey to parents and our students is that feelings are messy, but feelings are important. And if we don't talk about our feelings, then we just hold all of that in and then we sometimes have inappropriate reactions, right? So let's talk about how we feel. Let's walk through it. Let's work on calm down techniques like breathing and counting to 10, holding our tummy and really um, self-reflecting on how we're feeling and what might help us feel better. All right, everybody, have a great day. Spend time together um, talking about feelings. Point them out, good, bad, and ugly, because there are all kinds of emotions in the world. Keep playing and learning because remember, our play is learning. All right, everybody. Bye.